Welcome, welcome everybody you through to the lipstick chat. Yes, is the lipstick chat. We're doing it again. So before we get through with the video, please subscribe, share, leave your comments. I love hearing from you. Now, that is out of the way. Let's get to the business of the day. Jinege, my people, I'm back. I'm back. Hi, this one, nah, not be my own, no. <laughs> hey, this one not be my own. This one had the requested video. Somebody was asking me, eh, hey, oh yeah, so how do I become a good wife? How do I become a perfect wife? Uh -huh. Thank you very much. So, there's just, you know, in life, my people, you will never be perfect though. Even if you try your hardest, even if you do what the Bible says, for somebody's eyes, you will still be nothing. Okay. So, we'll go through the pointers that I feel that are important to be addressed. Okay. Number one, my fellow human beings, Please, do not deny your husband, your boyfriend, your partner, your relationship matter, the bedroom Olympic. Die. You see, when it comes to bedroom Olympic, that is where you need to excel. Because girls outside there, they're excelling. You don't want your husband to go and experiment outside and come home and do casualty. My friend, give him Olympics. The man must know that, you see, whatever he sees outside, he must compare and say, but this will not be on the same level as my own wife. My friend, do your worst. Don't, you know, hi, you see this South African woman, it will be just somebody that will just be sleeping on the bed, like, like, like Nando's, you know, the, the, the chicken that is just lying there like chicken dust. My friend, the style of chicken dust is gone. People are no longer doing that thing. If you are chicken dusty, please, repent repent because people are no longer chicken dusting people are doing things better thank you very much that is what point number one i am saying improve improve on your olympics in the bedroom thank you very much number two and very very important like this leave the man's phone alone not be your own if you are getting bored use the remote forget his phone it is called self phone. It's for me. Allow him to have his phone in peace. This one, every time when the call comes, he will even start standing up and, and, and pretending as if there's no network in no, all work. My friend, don't be the distraction. If the man's phone is sitting there, allow it to sit without you wanting to go. Because you know what is the problem? I'm not saying that you should not touch your, 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 your uh, partner's phone because... There's something he's hiding. Mba. I am protecting you. I am protecting you because you will go and touch that phone and what they're looking for, you will find it. And who's going to suffer the consequences? Now you. Not be him. Yeah? You will be the one that is going to suffer the consequences. And at the end of the day, God forbid, you will end up manless. So for you to even keep your happiness and keep your life, leave his cell phone alone. His cell phone is for him. That is why you have your own. If it's ringing, ignore. If the text come in, don't even look. Close your eyes. Run away if you want. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't mean to be very long on this video. But uh -huh. the last part that I want, pamper your man. Do not be that type of, of, of woman that every time, every time you want the man to do everything for you. Please. Pamper the man, buy him good things, eh? Massage him when he's coming home if he's tired, eh? You know, make him feel special. Mm? Make him feel like the king that he is, the king of the house. Even when he's entering the, ho the home, the curtain, they must know that the king has entered. The kids must know that the king has entered. He must feel it, even himself when he's walking that I am the man in this house. You are there. Treating him like he's one of your firstborn or your lastborn. And, and you expect to be happy and, and this thing. My friend, start pulling your socks. Women are doing it for themselves. You have to treat your man good, oh. 